Nigga is a spoken word. A poem I wish I never heard. A haiku that tastes like a lollipop or a butterscotch that cuts the roof of your mouth when you suck too hard on it. Nigga swirls an effervescent tingle at the back of your throat before it backflips quick off the palate like a gymnast, yet I wince. Every time I see white folks hear me and my niggas saying it. We use nigga like a slave master's last name. Both are lies about our past that we adopt anyway because niggas hang in our mouth like niggas hung in the south. Mm. Nigga is a culture that's cut off from his glory, so we have to make up a Kunta Kinte or a Kwanzaa story. Mm. Nigga is a tale of regret with too many forgotten sequels, like the one that's titled, White People First Bought Black People From Other Black People. Yeah. Funny how niggas think misspelled vernacular makes a word better. Funny how niggas are not even supposed to use words like vernacular. See, <laughs> niggas be like blind mice. See how we run and sell crack to our own color and Sometimes to our own mothers Cause niggas are nearsighted And desensitized and can't see the blood Streaming from the diamond eyes Of their Jesus pieces But niggas do shine sometimes Though we only seem to get recognized Playing the roles of mammies, butlers Slaves and maids Nigga is a separate But unequal legacy of minorities Force fed inferiority And just look at what they market to niggas Menthols and fake hair And cheap ass malt liquor But ain't we supposed to be free Free to especially employ the jargon Of Jim Crow jigaboos Free to trade our acres in for 40 ounces In drug mules While the revolution gets postponed A trade for free agent contracts Record deals and million dollar homes See Invisibility is not the devil's greatest trick. It's convincing niggas that there's wisdom hidden in ignorance. But maybe one day we'll have ourselves a funeral and we'll bury nigga in a plot next to the one they're trying to dig up for redskins. See, that'll be the day that we stop forging justifications for linguistic self-mutilation. The day we let go of, we're taking the hate out of the word claims. When we stop using apostrophes and liquor brands for our kids' names. When we stop thinking that the Underground Railroad had a goddamn train. A day to come when niggas pull more weight then they push and pull less on triggers making nigga a poem whose verses are fading away into a whisper when niggas finally find their destiny and become five fifths free and turn finally finally oh so finally into people yeah <laughs>